you know so i'm guessing it's just myself but of course you have external things like you know people where you look up to where you see and them do something and say yo that bad what i like for you try to do that or whatever you know but i would say it's mostly internal you know motivation what <coughs> Um, be true to yourself and do your own thing. Don't make nobody tell you, say, listen, you forgot to be this or you do that or, you know, try to derail you from what you really want to do because what you want to do is most important and more important than what anybody else can suggest that you do. You know what I mean? So if you have a passion for sweep yard, sweep the yard. You see me buy the most expensive broom that you can afford and sweep the yard as best as you can because at the end of the day, you are going to have to live with sweeping the yard because that's your thing. You know what I mean? If you want to be a pilot, fly the biggest plane. You know what I'm saying? And don't make nobody tell you different. Say, oh, yeah, you idiot, you can't be a pilot. You know what I mean? If you want to be a garbage man, you see me? Get some nice gloves and go out there, shocking color gloves and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a DJ, learn music. Um, study the craft and do your thing, you know what I mean? Even though probably no money in the day, but as long as you do something more, you enjoy, you know, people will see that you're enjoying it and who knows, people will start paying you to play if, you know, that is your passion. So that would be my advice. Just do what you know, you know what I mean? And be true to yourself. No matter what tell you nothing. But then that leads me to, so let's mm -hmm. say you be true to yourself and all of that, which is, mm -hmm. I agree. But when, so let's say things never work out the way it works out, mm -hmm. right? God never bless your steps. Mm -hmm. When would you have given up? Nor. Well, because all the term in the heaven, I mean, I think a gift up would be in or on the table. But if it never work out that way, then would I do something else with myself, you know what I mean? I would, well at the time, before I got the internship, I was studying to be a referee. You see me? Enough people out there didn't know that. But yeah, that's what I was actually doing. I used to go to the stadium every morning, every Saturday morning, 7 o'clock, run the laps. And them think that then the senior referees would have chat to me and give a little drills and little thing. I was just about to take the exam. And when me about to take the exam, I get the call from Zip and me and say, Well, <laughs> bye. I'm going to take it myself. But yeah, that was what I was planning to do. So at one point, me one day, I joined the JDF. But then when me and I figure, say, I probably grew up and have kids and them things. Then I know my wife, I worry if me I go get shot in a maid and them things. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> You know, that was also a concern, like, you know, family is very important, so you can't even put your people in through that type of stress, you know what I mean, so. So you had some backups until your dream? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, because. And you think that's important? Yeah, having backup plans, because, as I say, you know, suppose you never work out that way, then. and suppose you never get a call, then. what would you do, you know, so. That's what I would be doing. But I probably then have some schoolboy football or ref, um, Premier League. Who knows? Next World Cup, you probably would have seen me that make us. Oh, the the only Jamaican to ref a uh, FIFA match, which happened to be Prendergast at the time. He was actually one of my instructors and then thing. So, yeah, that's probably what I would be doing, or something else. I don't know. Last question. Mm hmm. Promise. You promise? Okay. Mm, she promised. So your kids came <clears throat> along the way. Mm -hmm. How did that impact you? How, how did you um, feel? You know, sometimes when kids come in and play, we decide that, oh my God, maybe I need to change or get more money or whatever. How was that? Well, the hmm. kids, how they, you know. Yeah, that was definitely something I made have to think about because, you know, um, when a child comes in your life, you know, you, you don't even know the influence they have upon you, you know, because now all of a sudden you're not only responsible for yourself, you know, where you can't say, oh, you know, I don't need to buy a grocery in the house. We can just eat a road and them things, 
you're good to go, you know what I mean? Now we are thinking about all different type of things, you know what I mean? So, having a child kind of, not kind of, it fully and totally changes you. Not just mentally, but physically as well, you know what I mean? Th the things that you do, the places where you go, and, you know, how you go about um, decisions and something, you know what I mean? So, it's a total change. So, the little things that you used to do, like ride from bike back and hang off and them thing there. You can't do them something no more because you think about everything like, yo, suppose I do that and I'm dead. Who are going to take care of my pain them? You know what I mean? So, them something that you think twice because you have children now, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, me, me did that for like mature like two times, you know, because I mean, they always take things for joke and all of them sitting there and just live. Like say, you know, each day is each day. But now you have to look ahead and all of them things, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it was a big... It's like a ton of bricks, but the ton of bricks was like... Like a wake-up call, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, we done! <laughs> okay, so now we are going to do the little... Uh, what do you call it now? Well.